Welcome back to your time right now, 452. Let's talk about some stories that are trending online. A relative of Emmett Till is suing to make a Mississippi sheriff serve a 1955 arrest warrant for a white woman whose false claims led to Till's lynching. A team doing research at a Mississippi courthouse last summer found an unserved arrest warrant for Carolyn Bryant. She's the woman who lied about Till whistling at her. That led to his kidnapping, torture, and eventual death, which became a catalyst for the civil rights movement. This week, Till's family filed a lawsuit to have that warrant served. Bryant is now in her 80s. Actor Bruce Willis has been diagnosed with uh, frontotemporal dementia. His daughter shared the news on Instagram. It's sad news out of the um, movie industry. It's been just about a year since Willis retired from acting because he was diagnosed with aphasia. Now 67 years old, Willis rose to fame in the 1980s comedy drama TV series Moonlighting. He appeared, though, in about 100 films after that across his 40 year career. Willis probably best known for the five Die Hard movies released from 1988 to 2013. Tesla recalling nearly 363,000 vehicles equipped with its full self-driving system. The National Highway Safety Traffic Safety Administration says it's had several safety concerns, including failing to come to a complete stop at stop signs and traveling straight through an intersection while in a turn only lane. Regulators say Tesla will address the issues with software updates. The acting head of the FAA says 200 large airports in the U.S. will soon be required to have detailed safety plans. Major air carriers and aircraft manufacturers already use these safety management system protocols. They identify and address safety risks. Now the FAA is working to expand its use to smaller airplane operators. The FAA says that the rule has been in development for 13 years now, but this week's announcement comes as the agency investigates several near collisions on airport runways this year.